Well, hello there, and welcome back to Married to the Games YouTube channel. We are playing some Mafia 3. We're going to play some DLC content if I can find it. So we're going to find out what happens. It's been a little while since I've played this game. I uh, played it a while ago when it first came out. What was that, like a year ago? Was it that long ago? No. Really? I don't remember. No. No, it was the fall, right? The winter? I don't remember. Anyhow, it's been a while. Uh, I started playing again a couple of days ago just to kind of try to refresh my brain on the controls and what have you. Completely forgotten everything that happened in the story, except for the fact that in my game, all of my Mafia bosses lived. And at the end, there was a cool twist during the credits. If you haven't watched it, uh, you should go back and do that. So let's see if we can't figure out... Faster, baby! Faster, baby! Go talk to the voice. Alrighty. So. Oh yeah, that does that. Okay. What brings... That doesn't bring my map up, that's for sure. <laughs> what brings up my map? Man, it's been so long since I've played this game. Oh, that's the whistle. Alrighty. Uh, okay. When I figure out ugh, how to get to the map, there we go. Gee whiz. Where's the voice? Is this the voice? Blind eyes of God. Take the throne or leave town. Oh, that was like the last uh, mission to do before. So even though I ended the game, it started me right before the ending of it. Look, where's the voice? That's all I want to know. Where is the voice? A race. A race! Are you a voice? Another brother falls. Where the freak is the voice? Um, I don't know. Do I have to end the game? Talk to Burke. Where's the voice? Tug on it. Return to Vito. He needs a favor. These are all like side missions that I've obviously never done. Keep an eye on the Cassandra. Yeah, I remember Cassandra. Where's the voice? Uh, what? Do I have to end the game again? And then... I don't have any idea how to find the voice. Talk to the voice. This has gone horribly wrong. Let's see, games, additional content. Yeah, I got it, right. Uh, what the he's, load checkpoint. No, resume game. What the heck, who's the voice? All right, I'm gonna wander around, uh, re-assimilate myself. Because obviously I need to. And, uh... Yeah, when we come back, hopefully I'll be near... I'll be near the voice! Yeah, this is, I think, the last mission I did before the end of the game. So, uh... Yeah. Weird. Alrighty, I'll be back in a second. Alright, everyone, welcome back. Uh... I think I might have found it. Uh, I actually uh, went to and rechose this decision, thinking maybe it my game saved in a weird way, and after the game is over, I can find the voice. Didn't happen. Sat through that. Sat, sat through twenty minutes of credits, and what have you, and nothing happened. So I did find if you uh, hit X here, this. Um, I went online to see how to start the DLC. You couldn't find anything. Uh, the description of this one sounds maybe like it might be it. Another brother falls. An old friend's waded into a civil rights crisis and needs your special set of skills. Head down and lend a hand because there's a car next to it. I'm thinking maybe meet the voice. There it is. That's so weird that this one isn't called Faster Baby. All righty. Activate the objective. And let's go to it. Why would they not call this one Faster Baby so I know that this is the DLC? <laughs> Alrighty, we're going to head this way. And uh, we'll see you there in a second. Ugh, man, I can't believe how long this took me. 
I'm a fool among thorns. Alrighty, we'll see you in a second. Alrighty, we are just about where we're supposed to be. And this car I ordered, man, I like this one. It handles nicely. So let's see. Keep going here. Here we are. Yeah, it's been a while since I played this game. If you don't know, I loved this game so much. Ah, oops. Oh, that's a slow motion. Got to get used to these controls, though. Wish me luck. Oh, you sure see him. Oh, God damn it. Okay, get your ass home in one piece, MJ. You all right? Far fucking from it. Sinclair Paris. That mean anything to you? Nothing good. For black folks, anyway. Sheriff Department down there still thinks Jim Crow is a law of the land, so we're building a civil rights case against him. Been working with an attorney out of Washington, D.C., knows people in the FBI. That what that call was about? One of my men, named Ezekiel Dandridge, was down there meeting with folks, getting him to agree to testify against the sheriff's department. He was compiling evidence, uh, testimony, getting folks' names. We we're gonna turn it over to that attorney. <sighs> then he ran into a motherfucker named Sheriff Walter Slim Beaumont. I was on the phone with him when it happened. I'm getting ready to leave now. I know. Yeah. Okay. Kinda laid out, ain't it? Are you having car trouble? No, sir. Everything's fine. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Why don't you come on out here and let me get a look at you? What you doing around Sinclair this time of night? Passing through, sir. Passing through. That's nice. It's a beautiful night for passing through, ain't it? Who's that on the phone? My mama. Your mama. She worries. Just letting her know when they're expecting you. That's mighty nice. I bet she appreciates that. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a beautiful night. <laughs> Don't let me keep it. Especially what with your mama waiting and all. Oh, I can't wait to shoot this hillbilly. Jesus. And another brother falls. Lincoln, this is my daughter Roxy. She grew up in Atlanta with her mother. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Lincoln. Lincoln Clay, I know. Daddy, I already told you I can handle this on my own. There's too much at stake. The case, people's lives. Can't take any chances. Heard you ripped Dixie Mafia a new asshole. <laughs> Left one of them hanging from a Ferris wheel. He killed someone close to me. Seemed like a good way to pay him back. Slim and them motherfuckers who work for him. Dixie Mafia ain't nothing compared to them. We do this, you do what I say. When I say it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the two of you need to get on down to Sinclair Parish and get that folder. When you got it, 
bring it here. <clears throat> Meet me outside when you're ready to go. Your ass is driving. She was supposed to be with Ezekiel. Blames herself for what happened. Blame's an easy thing to put on. Hell of a lot harder to take off. We'll get this done. Of that, I have no doubt. Sinclair Parish? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember Sinclair Parish. <laughs> You, you need to understand that back then, uh, local police, sheriff departments, they operated with absolute impunity. And no one operated with more impunity than Sheriff Walter Beaumont. Beaumont used his power to keep Sinclair Parish white. Places like that were called sundown counties. If you were black and caught around there after dark, well... That would be the last time anyone ever saw you. McGuire reminds me a lot of the psychologist in Until Dawn. Uh, so yeah, driving to Sinclair Parish. I got the music turned down on the radio just so uh, we can avoid some copyright strikes. Rundown on how you two fucked up those dicky assholes. What you did to do set, that was stone cold. Did what had to be done. Yeah, I'm sure you did. But listen, if one of these Sinclair deputies ever tried to pull you over, don't stop. They'll kill you and me without a thought. New Bordeaux police don't exactly walk around giving black folks hugs. Now, ain't no disrespect, my brother. But take out Slim like you did Richard Doucet, and in their minds, that's just gonna justify everything they be doing. That's gonna make shit even worse. But you, you ready to just go out and kill them all? Huh. No, just the ones that matter. Man, I wish I had my awesome car. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, all of this takes place before the end of the game. Uh, if you finish the game... <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. No. Uh, if you finish the game, it just resets before the last decision. So, if I check the map real quick, you'll see that uh, I could go end the game once again right here. So, yeah. Hey guys. Oh jeez, I was looking down at my mini map and did not even How do I I've got no excuse to run into a log truck. You can't get much bigger than that. <laughs> jeez. Oh really? Really? Lose the deputies. Okay. What are you doing? Oh, jeesh. Woman! Oh. Shoot vehicle traps. I forget how to... Oh, RB. Oh. Man, I've forgotten all of these controls. Yes, ma'am. RB. To drop explosives while driving, press down the D-pad... Man, there's so much to remember. Alrighty. Sheesh. Oh, doggone it. I was looking somewhere else again. I was like, that looks like a ramp. Alright, alrighty, alrighty. I figure one of these has to blow these guys up, right? Oh, I keep I keep seeing what I think are ramps. Jeesh. No, Eduardo. Uh, flip vehicle. Horrible, horrible. Oh, there you go. Got some grenades for you. Thank you. I keep seeing what looks like ramps that I could run up and over and through, and I keep I want to try that out. There's one. I don't have much speed, but here we go anyhow. Alrighty. 
It's kind of fun, though. I like this. Oh, there's a ramp there. Got to go back right there. All right, let's see if we can't circle around. Oh, nice. Sheesh. Jesus Christ, Roxy. I've dealt with asshole cops before, but god damn. They'd rather ice your black ass as soon as look at you. That was pretty cool. I get what you've been saying. Those motherfuckers are a whole new brand of intense. And keep your eyes open for more pigs as we head through town. MJ Farmer's up ahead. What's MJ like? Sinclair born and raised. He a white boy looking to make a difference. You trust him? Of course I trust him. Although I think he got more balls than sense. Sounds like my kind of people. Is it up here? Yeah. Man, I'm so embarrassed of that display. I gotta get used to these controls again. How many times will I say that? Probably a few more. Another Brother Falls complete. Whew, that was rough. <laughs>